G'day guys, week 15. Babies the size of an apple and now can move all their muscles. So, somersaults in the uterus, anyone? So, this week's been a bit of a roller coaster. As you know, we're away at the start of the week in Wye River, and this house, we were all on the same level. So, you came in, there was the laundry there, there was Dave and I bedroom, and then there was Sophie's bedroom, and then you kept walking, and there was the kitchen the dining room and the living room and the kitchen went out onto a deck and it was fantastic. Sophie would hoon around on her trike wherever she wanted to go and she could always find us. We weren't behind a baby gate, we weren't upstairs. Anyway, when I came back here, I just, I was just over it. I was just frustrated with the house. Dave and I spoke for a couple of hours in bed about what was going on and we tossed through lots of ideas like um, you know, moving house, which is not an option we wanted to do because, hey, stamp duty and all the fees that you've got to pay, it's like 30 grand. We didn't want to donate any more money to the government, so <laughs> we're like, we want to stay. So we tossed up actually about moving downstairs. So downstairs we've got two bedrooms and then we've got the laundry, the bathroom, toilet, and then in the middle it's kind of like the play area. It's actually a theatre room that we really don't use much, so it's got the projector, it's got the... Um, screen that automatically comes down. So that's what we did this weekend. We moved Sophie's stuff down to her room and then everything in there was my craft room. So we moved that all up to Sophie's old bedroom. We've done everything except for the cot. She's currently sleeping in the porter cot, which she likes and is happy in. So all the stuff in the guest bedroom, you know, like um, memorabilia, sports equipment, all that kind of stuff. We've moved that up and put that in the final cupboard in my craft room. At the moment, we've slept down there two nights and it's fantastic, it's really good. It's so easy to get Sophie in the morning. She happily plays around. We don't have to worry about steps or stairs or, oh, it's just so much nicer. And it's actually cooler, so it's substantially cooler downstairs. So we don't think we'll actually have to use our air conditioner as much. And then what we do is we come upstairs and have breakfast. Um, and we've got this area here. So I've always kind of thought two-story houses, you know, downstairs is kind of like the living area where you come in on, and then you go upstairs to go to the bedrooms and there's like a bathroom up there, whereas we're kind of doing it the other way. But it's actually really nice to have the laundry on the same level as the bedrooms and out to the garden. So Sophie just goes in and out, outside as she wants, which is so nice, and it's really increasing her independence in like, two days. So yeah, that was our big news. We moved downstairs. Unfortunately, with all the moving and carrying and just kind of maneuvering things, my tummy did get a little bit sore. So I had to just kind of cut it short. With growing and stretching, my core isn't as supportive and strong as what it was. So I think it was just a bit sore. So I just lay down on my left side for a bit and it eased after 10 minutes and I just didn't do any more that night. So poor Dave did a lot of the lifting and he'd come off night shift that night. So he was quite tired too. But last night we just had a wonderful night. We, Sophie woke up at quarter past seven, which she hasn't done for, oh, I don't know, like four or five months. The last two mornings have before that had been 5.30 a.m. So this was just beautiful, it was just really nice. Um, and it, like I said, it's cooler down there, it's darker down there, and we're all together. I love just being in the room next door. The other thing I'm grateful for is I haven't had any SIJ pain. I'm still following those guidelines I talked about, so limiting stairs, and if I'm going upstairs, I'm leading with my left stronger leg and non-painful leg. When I'm going downstairs, I'm going down with my right first, and it appears to be really helping. So the other thing I started last week as well was bio oil, so I'm putting it on at night and in the morning, I'm putting on my tummy and my breasts, and Sophie loves to help in the mornings rubbing it into my tummy, and she's like, baby, baby. Papa. This is a bit of TMI, but my boobs have just got so big, they are so full. Nipples are really sensitive. I've noticed that the last two weeks, I reckon. Um, but yeah, just really full. This week I even tried one of my old maternity bras, just as a kind of a bit of a break, just a bit of comfort from my normal sports bras that I wear all the time. I'm actually looking forward to buying some new ones for this pregnancy, but gee, they're expensive, aren't they? Whew. So last week I mentioned that my brother is pretty sure we're having a boy and he has named the baby Scott George. Dave's pretty convinced that we're having a girl. After looking at the ultrasound and seeing how busy the baby was, he's like, oh, it's just like Sophie, it's gonna be another girl. So we've been working on some girls' names this week, which I won't share with you, but 
I've written it in my pregnancy journal. So this is what I really loved about doing a journal last time is that you can look back and see, hey, that's the name we thought of at week 15. We've gone through all these other names and we've just come back to it or whatever happens. So we started jotting down some names that we are liking for. Girls, as I said, boys, we're happy with the boy name, so we're gonna stick with the one we had with Sophie. No particular cravings, I've just been hungry. More food <laughs> this week. Alrighty, let's have a look at the belly shot. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Thanks heaps for watching guys. If you want to check out any of my other pregnancy updates, I've done a whole playlist. I'll leave a link for it here. Go check it out if you want to. Alrighty, take care. Bye.